Just remember what I told you when your shit flop. In five years, you gon' be on love and hip hop. <laughs> I get the shirt when I want. But now it's 1 a.m. and my mama dialed in my phone. I know she intoxicated as soon as hot and I'm on. Niggas will risk any game. Niggas will bust any head. Niggas will risk every day. Fuck, what a hook. His hook game is fucking strong. to get to J. Cole's K.O.D. What's up, man? What's up? We Jungle Beats. We Jungle Beats, Australia's plug to the cringest cringe in the cringe. The cringest cringe in the cringe. K.O.D., right? Tech Nine released an album called K.O.D. but stood for King of Darkness. To me, that's Tech Nine's best album in a classic. But we don't talk about Tech Nine. I just want to give, I just want to give the man's props for having the album title first. But J. Cole's Come with an album called KOD, which came from fucking nowhere. Album cover looks fucking dope. Yep. And uh, for those who don't know, all that we know from the album is that KOD stands for King Overdose, the top half of the album, Kill Our Demons, the middle half, and Kids on Drugs, the third half. We're not sure exactly what it means. We have an idea. We're going to get to it and see what J. Cole got in store for us. I'm, I, for one, am excited as fuck to see what J. As Cole's fuck. got. Fuck. Jermaine. Jermaine, please. Give us some good shit, man. This year hasn't had much good shit. Oh. God damn, I'm excited, man. I'm so, I haven't been this excited. I haven't been this excited for an album in a long time. Laughter, which says, if I'm not this, or crying, which says, this frightens me, I'm in pain. Choose wisely. This is what you call a flip. 10K, 10K sells a quarter brick. Got your Bentley, your mama's whip. And then KOD. I think, I think we so. Such a catchy hook though. It's very catchy. Super catchy. We've never heard J. Cole flow like that before. We've never All heard him over that a, production. We've never heard him over a trappy like that before. What I think he fucking killed that I though. feel like the reason he did that production and he, and he did that flow was to suit the theme of the song. The whole theme of the song is, I'm selling a lot of drugs. I'm making that money. 
um, pretty much, you know, the whole the whole KOD, it's a, I'm KOD, like he's saying I'm King Overdose. I think that's what he meant on this track. This track's meant to be King Overdose, the first, the first, the top of the album. Um, I think it's just, it's explaining like the people living that lifestyle, you know, kids taking a lot of drugs, you know, still still trying to be gangsters, still trying to, you know, you know, hustle that crack and that sort of thing. So, but then if you hit, I think, I don't know, it's my perspective of first listen, uh, three distinct different verses, right? They're different in their own ways, and they rap about slightly different things. Like the first verses, if you're talking about his features, was there three verses or was two? I consider those two because they change. Because they their switch, tones, they switch up a tone, yeah, yeah. right? So to me, I interpret that as the first verse K, the second O, the third tone D. Okay, okay. I may be completely wrong. No, dude, just you, my interpretation. Exactly. But if you know, you hear about uh, the first verse, he was talking about man, fuck the features. I don't need the features. Yeah. Right. Uh, and he makes a bunch of metaphors about how he's better. Mm-hmm. Super dope. Real cool. <laughs> Fucking hell, what a way to start. I'm yeah. so impressed by that. Very impressed. It's, and it's so refreshing to see a J. Cole do something different because For Your Eyes Only, as, as much as I did enjoy that album, a lot of people didn't, it was very same, same for It me. was. So it's very refreshing, very refreshing to hear him take on different concepts and different styles. Like, keep it moving, man. Keep it moving. That was dope. That was we can really dissect that all day. Look at this photograph. Every time a bit of makes me laugh. <laughs> He never does this. I think he's mocking other rappers too. But it fucking works. Yeah. Like, I see like what Kendrick did with Damn, I can do everything and do it better than you motherfuckers. It's kind of very similar. Yeah, yeah. Feel like I gotta say something. Thought that you got my heart temple. But I can't come up with nothing. Fucking hell. Oh. Another really dope track with J. Cole taking flows from other rappers and putting it down here. I think personally he's using it in a way to express himself artistically and also mock them at the same time. And one up them. As yeah, we were exactly. Um, I did get XXX Tentacion vibes from a part of this song. Yeah. Which, because um, even the bit at the end was like, yeah, and any of course Migos vibes as well. What do you um, call that type of flow? Is it a triplet flow? I just call it Migos flow. Okay. Because they're the ones that I sort of, they didn't, I don't know if they invented it, but they're the ones that sort of made it popular. But um, yeah, saying, I, I, I think I picked up on there when he was just like, it's like, yo, I can't think of something to say. So I'll just sort of like say this. And then he goes on to say a few things, which is just very similar to what other people are saying. And then of course, at the start, I don't know what he was saying there, but I didn't pick it up. Like, and even with the photograph, I didn't quite get that, that reference or message. It's going to need a few more listens for me to get it. But I love the production. I love the way that he's using his voice on here. I'm really enjoying this album so this far. This is super dense. There's a lot in here. And There's I'm a lot in there. I'm listening super carefully. Yeah, I'm trying, man. But it's hard because we haven't heard, we haven't heard him rap this fast before. So right. I'm, I'm not like, used slow to slow down, bro. I'm not used to trying to trying to pick up speed from J Cole. You know. There's not many songs where I feel like I want to listen to that again. Are uh, the first two tracks? I reckon I could listen to the first two tracks ten times in a row each right. to, to, to dissect them because they're not too long. That's so rare. They're not too long. Catchy. A lot is going on. <laughs> I got some niggas that still owe me an apology. I'ma be the bigger man just like I always be. Eventually, but right now that's hard for me. I'm dreaming violent, I can't tolerate this loyalty. I know that vengeance is the Lord's and it's not for me. I know the punishment for you is that you're not with me. You place your value on the bitches that you got with me. And now the bitches ask you daily why you not with me. I had to learn I never had shit. You never would split. You was hood rich. Just the one, just the one verse. 
It's the most J. Cole track so far. Yeah, they remind me of For Your Eyes Only. This sounds like, this sounds like Kill Ever part. Like, yeah. Kill Ever did the start and this be here. Yeah. Can you guess who he is though? It's not Kendrick, is it? It's J. Cole. No features, except himself. It's an alter ego. You know how Mac Miller has his um, alter ego, Del Delusional Thomas? High Pitch, Larry Fishman producer. Um, another one's Mad Lib, Quasimodo. So it's an alter ego for J. Cole. That's super cool. Kill Edward. Really cool. He featured himself with an alter ego. How cool is it? It's like, that's here. It's like, I don't need no features. Yeah. It's like, oh, but you feature right here, man. Oh, wait, it's you. We don't see that too often, man. I like when an artist do that. It sounds very personal. It sounds mm. like something that we can't relate to right now. It, it honestly sounds like he was coming from another person's standpoint as well. I feel like with the first two tracks as well, he's not... Yeah. Look, the I, feel drugs. Like, I feel like For Your Eyes Only was more for him and his family, like he said. But I feel like this album... He's been obviously influenced by, you know, some of the younger rappers dying or some of the younger people, generation, yeah. doing a lot of drugs. I feel like this His album, community. for the community, I feel like a lot of these stories be pointed towards people that he knows, be it people that are past, people that he knows are struggling, or just people in general. Yeah, and so, you notice he did talk from other, pers it seemed like he talked from other perspectives mm. about drugs and, and people's outlets before. Mm. The next one we got is ATM. We're going to... So we're going to do the song first yep. and then we're going to do the video afterwards. So. Yeah. Very impressed so far though. All the tracks are short, you know, oh, concise, punchy. And only 10 tracks. Because two intros. It's a kill our souls, so kill our demons. This is more, this is more like the second part of the album now. Because the first two tracks were KOD, King Overdose. This looks like the single brother. We follow your cart and escape with your bitch like we turn to your heart and she don't need a promise. She hold it from all of the money we caught and count it up, count it up, count it up, count it up. Not just evil, but like... Um, your soul. Right, how it's like, it can lead to your despair. At the same time, you need the money. Exactly, it's about finding that balance. To maneuver not, through life. Not letting it control me. And you use such intelligent metaphors, like the one with cake in that, that last verse. I missed that one. It was like a really, really cool metaphor with cake. Then the, then the beat dropped a little bit, like he went to the next part mm. of the verse, and you hear that beat drop, and then he keeps... Oh, fuck me. Keeps counting. Yeah, I fuck with this track, man. I'm just really fucking enjoying it, and we're gonna get this video off yeah, and going. Let's let's hit it, babe. Fuck, what a hook! His hook game is fucking strong. J Cole, you going? You're shocking me, bro. I would have never ever expected anything like this from you, and I'm very happy. Oh, bro, even look at that picture. Yeah. He's bro. sitting in a room surrounded by cash. It looks yeah. like he's like, he's in like an insane asylum, and they're chasing cash. You see that? Oh yeah, you're right. Oh, and they're king overdose because he looked like drugged out his mind. Count it up, count it up, count it up. That's fucking dope. Hundred <laughs> percent mocking other fucking rappers. You know how hard that is. Look at the editing in this. I'm gonna lay. <laughs> That's a really cool metaphor, man. It's like you gambling, right? You gambling your last money, but you just want to win, right? Double or nothing kind of thing. And the fact that he sold an arm and a leg just for a car, like, it's just showing that you'd give up parts of yourself to get that wealth. And for a dollar. For a dollar bill. Mm -hmm. For a fucking dollar. 
Holy shit. Never ever in my life would I would have thought that J. Cole would take a creative directive outlet like that. Who was it? Dude, and it was directed by J. Cole. And Scott Laser. Never ever would I have ever thought that he would have come up with a track like that. Metaphors, like flow like that. And just a video as amazing as that, just on that concept of money. That is so smartly done. I'm so impressed right now. I'm so impressed. I just want to go back to all these tracks so far and just keep going listening to them, keep loving them and keep digesting. The music video is incredibly edited. A, a huge amount of attention to detail. Like mm. like you can see with the grills, like the Cole when his hair tied up, obviously marking other rappers. Little pump. <laughs> um, and if you noticed, the big hand was in the room and the rapper was really small. Like J. Cole was really small. This is me, like this is like a, a record label. Here, here's the hand to help out and sell you out and get you that money, but sell your soul for that kind of um, that mm. wealth. There's a lot in there. You really want to know who Simple Man is? <laughs> Watch this. Oh! I can't have no Definitely still sounds like Kill Our Souls because still mentioning money a lot. I really like how he did that. He goes really low and I really, really far away. And yeah. Brings it. And then he whoop, back up. Mm. But what he's saying is important. Like, I, I think that's easy to skim over. What's the motivate meant to mean in this? Because I didn't pick up too much from this track. Like, to be motivated. Like. Check when he's saying I'm feeling alive and feeling alive. Is that the drug speaking? Is that the money speaking? Yeah. Oh, 100%. I feel alive. That's yeah, yep. it is. And that's why like it fades away because like eventually like everything does. And, and maybe that's why it fades away and comes back in because he, he basically the drugs wearing off and then takes the drug again. He's feeling alive again. Right. So. Great point. Hmm. I think just money is like motivating. I'm popping a feel. I'm feel it's like using drugs to like drown in your own. Yeah. Too many times I swallowed my pride. I'm cracking a smile. I'm dying inside. My demons are close. I'm trying to hide. I'm popping a, yep. I'm popping a pill. Yep. I'm feeling alive. Yep. I'm feeling alive. I'm feeling alive. I'm feeling alive. It's great. It's all about like how the drugs will make you feel so good and then you can feel it wearing off. It's so smartly done with the way he fades it away and then comes back in. It's just the drugs, man. I think this is where Logic can take a, a book from J. Cole. You know how? Mm. Because Logic, your problem with him and his last album was that he talked a lot of the time. Yeah. The, cre the creativity being expressed in this album is tremendous so tremendous. far. Jake, I don't, I don't need to speak and preach just about anything. He's doing it in a real artistic measure of ways and it's, he's absolutely killing it. But my phone be blowing up temptations on my line. I stare at the screen a while before I press decline. I get the shirt when I want. Do it to the body's aroma. My girl, she got a diploma. She got my written all over. She got my written all over. Only if you down, you just look good to ya. If the work good, I'll be back for the re up. Hate when I creep in the phone, wake me up. Fake like I'm sleep, no damn, but I'll be up. Wanna have my cake and another cake too. Even if the bigger don't make like you. Even when the flavor don't taste like you. So I'm back, my with the late night crew. All in your mind, what fair is that's what comes true. I don't think he's talking from his perspective. Nah. It's someone from all the other fake rappers' perspective. Does this have anything to do with Kevin Hart? 
No. I reckon it's a metaphor he's using. I don't think it's a metaphor. I don't think Kevin Hart would be referenced here. Unless, of course, J. Cole knows him and maybe Kevin's been dealing with things similar to this. No, I, I know J. Cole knows him and they've interacted, but aside from that, I think it's interesting how he, he's, he's, he's positioning himself from a different perspective and saying, looking in the mirror, I can't almost, what did he say, recognize myself or I can't like... Well, before he said that, he said, um, I'm a fake rapper and I know it. I look in the mirror and I can't see myself he said, back. He said, I'm a fake rapper. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Because he's obviously coming from a perspective of fake rappers out there. Right. Just being like, you look in the mirror... It's the, the money's not worth it. You know it. You know that everything you're saying and everything you're doing isn't doing anything for you except for the money. Or it isn't real. It's some fabrication. Mm. I think it's a, it's a great uh, tactful way to go about like affecting a whole industry of rappers mm. while not pointing out anyone individually. A lot of shit happens. Like, like, I make a lot of money, you know? And I'm really happy about it. I'm not bragging. I just want to say this. My mate, I'm so fucking ridiculous. <laughs> It's the one that's probably gonna go into kids on drugs. It's fucking dope. It's a really cool way of doing it. I didn't think it was gonna work out like this. No. Holy fuck. I mean, it's just our speculation. It's also really smart as well because after he's talked about the money, the drugs, and then it's going to the age of looking at the mirror reflecting to go to this. It's like after reflecting. It's really smart. So I think Kill Edwards, his representation, without naming one, of a rapper that's going through this stuff. It's the side of him that if it, it it's the side of him that he's created that if he did these things, that's how he feels. So much sex, this shit don't make sense Where do my dollars go? You see, lately I ain't been convinced I guess they say my dollars supposed to build roads and schools But my niggas barely graduate, they ain't got the tools One thing about the men that's controlling the pen They write history, they always seem to write out their sins And you will never see a black man in the White House again I write a check to the IRS, my pockets get slim Better that than letting wet congressmen I've never seen Dictate where my money goes Straight into the palms of some money hungry company that make guns that circulate the country and then wind up in my hood making bloody clothes now his body froze and nobody knows what to tell his mother he did good at the white man's schools unlike his brother who was lost in the streets all day now use the rubber so right now he got two on the way so he will cover us in it's real shit bro yeah man it's just real life tell me about the consequences you deal with Because he contrasted first his problems about fuck man I got this tax to pay I, I wonder where it's going I hope it's going somewhere, somewhere useful and he contrasted that with what about a mother with two sons one of them's making it one of them's not doing so well in the streets mm -hmm. just, fuck I got the tax again you know it's just like the the, the duality of these lives mm. it's really well done man and very well picked up too because I, I zoned out on that one so I didn't pick up too much but I'm loving the way he's if, if I'm correct, what I picked up so far is his, the first two tracks with him tackling it, like a topic, King Overdose, and then going to a slower track to sort of wrap that up and go to the next part. And then he had kids um, kill our souls for past three tracks, and this one's wrapped that up. So I'm expecting the uh, the last half, the last bit of the album to be about kids on drugs and him to wrap that up in the same way. And he had um, Kill Edward on both of those tracks too, so I expect Kid Edward to Kill Edward to wrap up the album. So I'm loving the structure of this album. I'm loving the way he's going about it. I'm loving the creativity. The messages, everything about this album so far is absolutely beautiful. Lost in a cloud of marijuana, young Carolina nigga, fish out of water. Dies when I see it like this, too young to deal with pain. I'd rather run the streets and see a kill herself, so feel became my escape from a feeling I hate. Mama cursing me out, depression, such a feeling in state. Love and happiness, I wish that I could say the right words to cheer her up. I wish her son's love was enough. I tell her mama go to sleep, she tell me, boy, hush. You better pray to God you never get your heart crushed But now it's 1am and my mama dialed in my phone I know she intoxicated and soon as hot and I'm all comes Crashing down, she lit talking drunk shit I'm pissed but I'm still all ears like passing hounds Why don't I say how I feel when I do she's defensive for real Well maybe things get better with time I heard it heals Little did I know how deep her sadness would go Looking back I wish I would've did more This is definitely about his mom Hold on me It's about his mom I can't let go. I feel 
I've never, I never knew that. Have we ever known that? I didn't know either. I'm pretty sure it is though. Once an addict, no longer an addict, I assume that's what it's referring, inferring. Yeah, man. Cap another bag of smoke today. Cap another bag of smoke today. cool saying despite your you going to drugs prescription whatever try meditating meditate. meditate doesn't necessarily mean meditate it means just really think about things yourself just to exactly it can express a lot of reasons it's funny because you could say don't medicate meditate you could that could have been a line in there that's, that's what he said just then yeah don't medicate meditate really cool man Right, and Kill Edward is showing the other side to it, right? Yeah. Is that, that's like, oh, that's... I, I personally think Kill Edward is an alter ego J. Cole's created of a character he was if his lifestyle chose to pursue the drug lifestyle, chose to pursue more of the money drug lifestyle. But of course he didn't take that. Of course, in the early J. Cole's career, he smoked a lot of weed. He experimented with a lot of stuff. Like he said in the, the, the intro before that, he said, I got my weed, I was in my room, and then his mum, you know, was... I'm pretty sure that track was about him and how his mum had very big alcoholic problems. And he's never he's never mentioned that in his music before, to my knowledge. Maybe he's like hinted at it in like his early mm. days, but he's never really talked about it in that in that big in that bigger way. It's incredibly profound because you you have to think how many people have gone through a similar thing. I have a friend who's gone through a similar story, and it made me really empathetic towards mm. that situation. You know. I think it's an important story to tell and I'm so glad it's being told through this creativity. Mm. And then onto Friends, first half of the track is like, he's listing all the things people victimize themselves about. Yep, exactly. To think about, this, this is a reason why I could be doing this. Or like, I don't feel bad about living this lifestyle because of this, because of that. Or this forces me to do this. Like just a huge list of shit. And it really forces the listener to contemplate and reflect, is that me? Mm -hmm. Because... It's damn sure that one of us has made an excuse like that or someone watching has made oh, an excuse 100%, like man. that. Oh, 100%, man. It's like... 100%. And then when you say meditate, those words like, just meditate, man. It's like, it's a bit airy-fairy. It's a bit corny, right? It's a bit like up in the air. But to preface that all, to preface that recommendation with all this before, I think adds so much weight to that. I think so as well. Also, because like I was saying, that meditate can definitely represent a lot of different ways of going about it. Like you said, it could represent just just really thinking about it or giving things time because meditate's all about just, you know, it doesn't matter how long you take, but just sitting there and just really collecting your thoughts and just really just trying to find that balance or trying to like find that solution. Oh man, I'm kind of annoyed because I kind of want a few more trappy sort of J. Cole tracks, but I'm still, I'm still for that. I was expecting that part three to have a bit more, you know. Down and confused, I know what I reap is what I will sow. Once again, try myself back with you from my All I want to do is touch a black and black and celebrate. All I want to do is keep my niggas out the yellow tape. All I want to do is see my granny on the other side. All I want to do is kill the man and make my mama. I'll be trying to give them game like Santa did when Christmas came. They be listening, but it's meant to me. Niggas will rap any game, niggas will 
up on city heads, niggas gonna risk everything. Point him out in Jenny, yeah. Shoot that boy Trenny, yeah. Blah, blah, his Trenny jump. He don't give a fuck, he's on Henny and Jenny dump. I know I'm blessed because your stress is realer than anything I done been through. I put my head to the sky, I'm down and confused, I know. Yes, what I preach is what I will so Yes, once again, find my son. All I wanna do is touch a black and black and celebrate. All I wanna do is keep my niggas out the yellow tape. All I wanna do is see my granny on the other side. Oh, God, I'm trying to um, You see both sides. You choose. You choose. He's painted it. Exactly. This is these are the consequences. This is what this is the things what you could happen. This is what happened to me. This is what is happening right now. This is what is happened. This is what has happened to me. Like he's like, make your choice. It's out there what happens if you choose this way. It's a smart album. It's exactly what hip hop needs right now. I feel like for someone as big as J. Cole to be talking about something like this for other no no other artists have talked about like this in my regards as someone on his level. Kendrick and Kanye have both touched on these topics, but I don't know if they've dedicated album? an album to it. Right. Exactly. 1985, I arrived. 33 years, damn I'm grateful I survived. We wasn't supposed to get past 25. Jokes on you, motherfucker, we alive. You gotta give a boy a chance to grow some. Everybody talking like they know something these days. Niggas that can walk, but they broke home. Um. Respect the struggle, but you all from me. I see your watch nicely in your whip form. I got some good advice, never quick torn. See, I've been on the quest for the next wave. But never mind, that was just a segue. I must say, by your songs, I'm an impressed pay. But I love to see a black man get paid. Wanna see you dab, they wanna see you pop a pill. They wanna see you tap from your face to your heels. And so it deep down, fuck it, I gotta keep it real. They wanna be black and think your song is how it feels. I know you think this type of revenue is never in it, but I wanna take a minute just to tell you that it's true. Now you scrambling and hoping to get hot again, but you forgot your only pop because you was riding trends. Now you old news and you going through regrets because you never bought that house, but you got a pins. To any amateur niggas that want to get round. Just remember what I told you when your shit flop. In five years, you're going to be on love and hip hop. <laughs> 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 He's taking shots at a lot of fucking rappers on this. Oh my god. He's spitting heat there, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Jesus. Way to body a fucking industry of rappers without calling out a single name. Even though it sounds like he's talking about one individual. And he said he's black because they got the same skin color as him. I thought it was Lil Pump. But it might be X. It might be Lil Uzi. And then he referenced them talking about, I don't use my name like that, something, something. Like, who's talking about J. Cole? Some people are saying that this is a follow-up to sort of uh, False Prophets. Because of False Prophets, he talks about a lot of things similar on that. Remember, like, rap, little this, little that. And little remember, whatever. Remember he touched on Kanye as well? Right. If you were my hero, but then you fucking... Right. I think that was more about, yeah, the heroes and mentors rather than this. Intro to the fall-off. No, hold up. It says intro to the fall-off. There's another album on the way, boys and girls. Man, this and is... This is a top... Album of the Year contender, a hundred percent. It's an album that I'm excited to just constantly go back to. Fuck. There is so much on this album that I've missed. I love the production. I love, I just love the way J Cole changed up his sound. Changed, it really thought about what he wanted to do this album. It has done an album that's good for him as an artist, like for him to grow, but also amazing for people out there that are struggling with things like this, and for yeah. rappers that do live a life similar to this. So, it's working on both scales for him and for the people and. I'm, ex I'm excited with, with um, um, his last album. I enjoyed it, but it was the same old Cole. This is a different Cole, and I've enjoyed this album a lot more. Yeah, he's hit us with a refreshing, different vibe, whether he's done it ironically at some times or not. And he's re reinvented himself in another way, and, he, and he's come out with a cohesive, super, super engaging productions creative as well. You see some of the... Man, I can't even go into it. I'm not even ready mentally. I wonder if he produced the whole album as well. Because he's known... Because he produced yeah. all of his last album. Yeah, he, he's, he's, a, he's a producer as well. I don't know, but... This is a... Um, this is an important, significant body of work. 
I really hope this helps. This helps the hip hop industry. I really hope it helps just just people in general. I think this helps uh, push a conversation between okay, J Cole was elevated himself into the discussion. J Cole being one of the best rappers oh, of shit. his current era. I think this definitely helps his case. You, you know, he's touching a lot of significant topics. That yeah, because I feel like people. a lot of lot of kids, a lot of young kids, like they want to talk to their friends about this sort of shit because it's touchy, and also like they they tempted themselves. This sort of gives them the look of like. This is the shit that happened. This is people being through this shit. I should probably have a chat about this shit, you know? I don't know about you, but when I listen to music like this, that's really great and really hits me. I'm like, it inspires me to make music. I'm like, fuck. If, let me, let me try and do something. I just want to be able to write poetry, and I call rap poetry, the way J. Cole does it. Like, just the way he fucking intertwines metaphors and just... Like, the way Jay and J. Cole and Ken, yeah, they do this is incredible. Exactly, I think man. we touched on a lot of great things, and I'm super happy about this album. And yeah. Yeah, man. Jungle Beats, you know, this album's fucking oh, phenomenal. J. Cole, K.O.D., kill him. Will shit. there be another one? Let us know. The Which interpretation vibes with you more? There's going to be another album. No, it's that it, ATM video was dope. If you want, we've reviewed J. Cole before. If you want to see our For Your Eyes Only review, um, click the I button in the top right-hand corner. Otherwise... See you in the next. God damn, cheese is good. Cheeses. That's what Kanye West's new album is going to be called, Cheeses. It's going to be like, it's going to be him with like, instead of having a dead mouse sort of mask in his face, he's going to have like a cheese mask on his face. Stop some hard away with grandma, I'm hot. They only care about a nigga when he handed the rap. Or when he dishing the pill. Or when he gripping the steel. Bailing out my brother, tell the lawyer, get the appeal. With a flick of the pen, write the check and he out. Two years later, he be at my show, checking me out.